Hello viewers and welcome to another exciting episode of Erongo Talk. I'm your host Nicanor Nangolo and today we're here in Valfish Bay CBD where as per usual we bring you your latest news updates, weather tides and today we also have um, Desiree Stevens who tells us a bit about the upcoming Erongo tourism. So do not go anywhere, we'll be right back to the break. Hello, kickers, and welcome to today's episode of Erongo Talk. I'm your host, Nika Nornagolo. I am your host, Frida Molotu. I'm your host, Shalin Johannes. Sit, rest, rest, and genet this episode with us. We didn't, we didn't count them out. We know they played against Groot Fontein. The weather is nice. It's a year of the week. We understand us. We're going to be a little trots. Uh, in your first news story, a case of robbery with, with aggravated circumstances brought against three men who were arrested in connection with an incident at Style Clothing Store in Swakopmund was postponed to the 6th of December. Let's take a look. Hossein Hadimbi, age 38, William Shihama, age 30, and Andreas Matthias, age 32, appeared before Magistrate Conchita Olivier at the Swakopmund Magistrate Court on Wednesday with Public Prosecutor Anita Likies representing the state. Magistrate Olivier informed the accused of their rights and explained that they had been charged with committing robbery with aggravating circumstances. Hadimbi, accused number one, and Matthias, accused three, indicated to the court that they would conduct their own defense and pleaded guilty to the charge. Shihama, who is accused number two, indicated that he would apply for legal aid and entered a plea of not guilty. Prosecutor Likias opposed bail, saying that it would not be in the interest of the public and the cause of justice. We want to look into the criminal backgrounds of the accused and they should be remanded in custody. Three suspects were arrested for an attempted armed robbery at Style in Swakopmund earlier today. The suspects were held hostage in the shop after a failed robbery attempt. According to Erongo Regional Inspector Eleni Shapumba, it is alleged that three men armed with gas pistols and machetes entered the shop, closed the door after them, threatened the employees and demanded for money. In the process, one of the employees acted promptly and notified the local police. The members responded swiftly and arrested all three suspects on the spot. Fortunately, no injuries were sustained and nothing was stolen and the used articles were recovered. Police investigations continue. Quick thinking really saved the day. We, applaud, we applauded the police officers for their prompt response and commended the fast and smart action of the staff member who notified the local police on time. In more news, a parliamentarian delegation from Botswana accompanied by the Namibian counterparts visited the Namibian Ports Authority on Friday. Let's take a look. We are from uh, Botswana Parliament, as you've stated with our counterparts here. We've been in Namibia since uh, Monday. We've had uh, engagements with various 
uh, ministries and various departments. Um, and as part of our oversight role is to all, also follow up and engage on certain things that our government of Botswana um, actually engages in, be it um, as long as they are relevant to our portfolio committees. We do know that Botswana and South Africa, through the leadership of their presidents, uh, His Excellency Dr. Mokhais Eric Yavisomasisi, who is the Republic of Botswana's president, and the Republic of uh, Namibia's president, Dr. Gengo, have always been engaging at a very high level on issues of trying to integrate and actually deepen the relationship between ourselves and Namibia. Notably, um, the recent one, as you are all aware, um, is the, 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 the using of uh, ID cards to, for ease of movement between the two countries, which, by the way, we have engaged with the relevant authorities and they've given us the comfort that uh, 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 the whole uh, arrangement is working, is gaining momentum, and they'll keep on, um, they're very happy with the development as it is unfolding, but what is very critical, they did mention to us that they'll keep on finding other, you know, to fine tune it as we go uh, forward to, engage, to ensure that it actually even uh, 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 benefits us. We've talked to the Minister of Transport and Works also. We've talked about the engagement of the Ministry of uh, Transport and Works from Botswana with our, with your counterpart here in terms of uh, transportation, especially the rail, uh, the rail, uh, the railway line that connects the two countries, uh, the Trans Kalahari railway line. We've talked about the Trans Kalahari highway. We've talked about the transport, uh, uh, you know, uh, challenges and achievements and uh, opportunities in terms of how we we want to ensure that there is smooth commerce or trading between the. Uh, the two countries, the movement of goods, and how we actually envisage, um, you know, developing and growing that initiative going forward. We've also talked about the dry port, such a beautiful gesture from the Republic of uh, Namibia, um, and, I, and, I, and I'm very happy that we'll be able to see the facilities, and uh, hopefully those are some of the things that we'll be engaging us on, and ultimately seeing that they become uh, very, very efficient and effective in terms of uh, uh, deepening the, 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 the relationship in as far as commerce is concerned. And our wish, as we are talking to the different departments, um, um, was that something that we, we reiterate when we're engaging you today is that we would like to see the private sector also engaging and taking, uh, uh, you know, um, this... Uh, initiatives to another level, because government's role is to facilitate, is to develop policy, enact laws, and ultimately to enable, to open up uh, opportunities for the, for the real business people to thrive and to grow. Namport is really a truly Namibian trend-setting entity and can surely help to unlock and enhance the trade potential of its landlocked neighbor. And now for some sports news. Welcome, Jelle. My name is Brian Munango, and I can see you as an for Hoi Kola. Get me is Donrachse Sports Revno. In the Fanny program, I'll be here with my friends to pray. Is it my plan? 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 Ben Gaskako, we zien jullie weer vrijdag volgende week. Goeie koor! Goeie koor!
Hi, we're here at the Walfish Bay Municipality and next to me I have Desiree Stevens. She is the organizer for the Irongo Expo. Desiree, hi. Hi, Lomari. Please tell us more about the Irongo Expo. Okay, this year the Irongo Expo will be hosting its 15th edition of the Expo. It is slated to commence from the 25th until the 28th of October here at the Municipality Civic Centre. So, um, where are all the stalls and everything going to be set up here? Well, there's different categories. Uh, like I've explained to you earlier, we've got a food court area. Uh, we've got the area for the SMEs. We've got the sponsors marquee tent, which will be hosting all our corporate companies from mining companies, engineering companies, financial institutions, engineering, uh, so on. And then also in the hall there right behind you, we have the tourism hall where all the tourism companies will be exhibiting. Wonderful. So this will be a great opportunity to do some networking. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's a perfect platform for that. Um, tell me more about the entertainment because um, it's all, uh, the Irongo Expo is also here yeah, for, for us to enjoy. Yes, absolutely. Apart from the business aspect of the expo, we have something for the kids as well. We've got um, the motor vehicles also that will be displaying. The entertainment um, program, I can't say too much now because <laughs> I don't want to give everything away. So that I'll keep as a surprise. But definitely a lot of activities planned. Mm -hmm. And can you touch a little bit, say maybe on the program? The official opening will start on the 25th, obviously. We will also, like normal, open with the street parade. Uh, then we have the symposium program that will be the 26th and the 27th of October. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the official, open, official opening is the 25th? Yes, mm -hmm. that's true. And, um, 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 and the rest of the days, the 26, 27, 28, what, what, what will the program look like? Yeah, there's, there's a lot of activities planned, so once we have that finalized, I will definitely share. Mm. But you're not fully booked all your stalls yet, there's still space open, so people can still book? Very limited. Mm -hmm. So I would suggest that if you want to be <laughs> a part of this year's expo, do your booking today today and they can contact you where? Contact me at 081-285-2980 or email at irongoexpo at africaonline.com.na um, Is there anything that you would like to add? Well, just a thank you to our sponsors, obviously, because without mm -hmm. them, it's not possible. So definitely Municipality of Wallfish Bay for giving us the venue, um, Irongo Red, as well because they sponsor the electricity and they are also coming on board as one of our main sponsors mm -hmm. for this year. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the other sponsors who came on board, if I may ask? Well, it's um, um, Juan's Packaging. We've got Coca-Cola as well. We've got EUS exhibitions because they set up the exhibition stalls. There's a, there's a few, mm. but yeah, I will also convey that a bit later. Um, but I think this is an absolute perfect venue. Yes, absolutely. It's central and um, because the Irongo Expo has a footprint, so everybody knows the Irongo Expo is at the municipality. So it's going to be, it's going to be uh, enough safe parking and all that kind of stuff, you know, that the people want to know. Yes, definitely. Okay, wonderful, wonderful, Desiree. Um, we're going to interview again uh, okay. closer to the expo because um, you can't um, have all the secrets in the open yeah. <laughs> just yet. Exactly. So closer to the expo, we're going to interview Desiree again. But thank you very, very much, Desiree. Thank you for having me, Lumeri, and I look forward to it. Me too. <laughs>
Hallo kijkers en welkom bij vandaag's episode van Erongo Talk. I'm your host Nikanor Nagolo. I am your host Frida Molotu. I'm your host Shalin Johannes. Sit gerustig en geniet hier die episode met ons. We didn't, we didn't count them out. We know they played against Groot Fontein. Die weer is mooi. Het is een eer om niet te wees. Ondersteun ons. Ons gaan veel troost maak. Well, unfortunately, we've come to the end of today's episode. But fear not, you can always check out our website. That's at www.irongo.com.na. You can also send us your news tips at newstipsirongo.com.na. Or you can share with us your story on our WhatsApp and our Telegram. That's at 0811-7040. That's 0811-7040. And you can also follow us on our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Alternatively, you can... Check out our online channel, that's oneup2.com, or you can simply check us out on DSTV channel 285 or on GoTV channel 94. Now, that was all for today's episode. Until next time, it's goodbye.